Hello, I'm Dr. James Bogash, expert in health and longevity and creator of Bogash Life and Balance. And today we're going to talk about olive oil. And there's there's this contingent out there that thinks that oils are bad for us and they cause heart disease. And I've had discussions with some patients that have really adopted almost the cult-like belief that certain oils can, well, healthier oils. So like the the healthy fats and oils in like avocados and olive oil that are considered to be pro-inflammatory and drive heart disease. However, the data largely disagrees with this. And we see that people that have a Mediterranean type diet is generally much more cardioprotective, both in heart attack and stroke. And so it just doesn't make sense to me why there are people that follow this and believe that despite the fact that the data continues to suggest that olive oil is part of a health, heart healthy lifestyle and is being part of a Mediterranean type diet, it just becomes a part of why that diet is so good for human physiology, uh, not just the oils themselves, but also the uh, by having more fats in our diet, we're actually absorbing certain fat-soluble carotenoids like lycopene in tomatoes and the carotenoids, the different colors, colors that we get in our, you know, your orange, reds, purples, greens uh, that are good for us. So we absorb those more when they're in the presence of a fat-based diet. So this was a study out of Spain, and it looked across three different large studies. There was the AWHS the Sun Study and the EPIC Study, these are all based out of Spain, so looking at more of a Mediterranean diet. And they looked at different aspects of outcomes on cardiovascular disease and stroke. So the first one, the AWHS, looked at the um, the, uh, the coronary artery calcium score, or the CAC score. Generally, the more calcium we have around the heart, especially if it's easily breakable, more friable, that's definitely a concern. And so they found that people who had um, at least 30 grams a day of olive oil were 11% less likely to have a concerning high CAC score. So that was one thing. When they looked at the Sun study, which followed people over 10.8 years, almost 11 years, they found a 47% lower risk of cardiovascular disease, like specifically disease, not just the markers of the score, um, with people taking in 30 grams or more a day. That's 47%. Like that's, that's a pretty substantial drop. You add in some dark chocolate, some short burst exercises. It's not that hard to prevent heart disease. Uh, the final study, the EPIC study, was filed for 22.8 years, so very long. Um, and they found that those people, like the sweet spot from here was really between like 20 and 30 grams. Uh, but ultimately, this study looked at stroke and there was an 11 to 16 percent lower risk of stroke, just depending upon how much olive oil they took in, um, which is, again, pretty substantial. Like just from adding using olive oil instead of other lower like our vegetable oils or canola oils, which we should just throw out. We should not be using those. Um, olive oil, despite what some people think, is actually pretty, not really high heat methods, but most heat methods used in the household, olive oil is quite uh, uh, stable for. Personally, we have lots of olive oil. It's, one of, it's dangerous to put me in an olive oil store because there's all kinds of really good ones. There's a, I'll put a link in the, the description, but there's a olive oil store in Flagstaff near us that actually has a butter flavored olive oil. So we will spray that, put it in a misto, spray it on our popcorn, our air pop popcorn, and then use different seasoning um, that will now stick to the uh, popcorn because the olive oil is there to hold it up. Um, but generally, but and by the way, these studies did find that virgin olive oils had better effect than refined processed processed olive oils that shouldn't make that shouldn't come as a big surprise ultimately you get what you pay for and there are big concerns with fake olive oil that is not what is advertised so make sure that you find an olive oil source from a company that you trust i know also here in arizona we have a local olive grow um 
Queen Creek olive milk, which is very nice. You can make sure that you're getting it right from the source. But as always, I'll post a link to this particular study out of Spain in the description. Make sure you like this video, share it with somebody who you think needs the information, and subscribe to the channel.